On today's video, we're going to talk about what a sliding mitt is. We've all seen it. We've all questioned what it was when it first came out. What does it do? Who should wear it? And my opinions about it. So let's take a look. So sliding mitts. So what exactly are they and what are they used for? So we first kind of saw this coming up. Obviously, I feel like the major leagues got this kind of first, the trip, you know, double A, triple A, and all the way up to the major leagues. And what a sliding mitt is, as you can see on the screen, there's all kinds of different sliding mitts out there now. But before it was basically a sleeve or like a <laughs> oven mitt that went over your hand, you'd be able to strap it. And then it would help you when you're sliding back to the bag to prevent getting cleated, uh, getting your fingers jammed up in the dirt or underneath the bag or, you know, just sliding into somebody and breaking your hand. That's kind of where they came from. And that's kind of where they all started. <laughs> so just to protect the hands of the runners, obviously pitchers that, are, you know, coming up in high school. Now wear them. A lot of position players wear them just to protect their hands. And while I'm okay with them from a from a coaching standpoint at, at higher ages, I feel like younger kids don't need to necessarily wear them. Let them get dirty. Let them get their hands, you know, out there and stuff like that. So let's take a look at ex a couple examples. Like on your screen right now, you see Bryce Harper. He has an, a very outrageous uh, Philly fanatic one that he, you know he had made for them. So you can see that. And then there's some other ones here. Obviously, Evo has a bunch of them. I think Evo was one of the first ones to actually put one into the mass public. Uh, you can see, you know, this is kind of showing you there how they kind of function right there when they slide back into a bag. So there is all kinds of different brands out there. This is kind of how they, you know, you put them on, you put it over your finger, and then you just, you know, rotate the strap around. So let's take a look at some brands that offer them first and foremost. Let's look at the Evos here. So Evo has them in kind of every single different color here at a price point around 50 bucks. So you can match your team's colors, uh, you know, get in the game, protect your hand and um, prevent injury. So 50 bucks for that one there. Uh, there are some crazy ones out there. So this one's absolutely ridiculous.com. This is the ones with the big X's that you see with the sprinkles and all that kind of stuff. They've done Miami, strawberry ice cream, push and pee, USA, uh, Bible, <laughs> red, white, and blue, strawberries and cream, blackout, banana ones, uh, sour apple, all kinds of different themed ones there. Dracula sliding mitt. It's kind of kind of ridiculous, but kind of awesome at the same time. It kind of lets you explore, you know, your personality on uh, the field. And then obviously there's another one here. This is flat bill. They have like some all kinds of different ones. Uh, you know, hot pink, uh, emoji smile, Mexican eagle, the donut ones. I've seen a lot of these donut ones coming out. So you know that one is sixty nine bucks. So just a cool little personalization that you can do in the sliding mitt from, you know, the evil ones that are kind of, you know, standard colors all the way to ones like this one that are a panda. So what are you guys' thoughts on sliding mitts? Do you like them? Do you use them? Drop a comment below. I want to know if, you know, you guys are using these, what age groups using these, and if you're a fan of them or not. So. Please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Uh, and, you know, give me some feedback. What do you guys want to see me review? I have some new bats coming in. Obviously, it's going to get closer to the holidays. So I'm looking at new stuff, new gear. And shop the Better Ball Player store. I'm going to put the link in the description. I got undershirts good for cold weather, you know, sport moisture wicking. So, you know, shop around. Get one that fits your color. It's a good undershirt for a uniform and will help um you know in the colder weather so thanks for watching appreciate it. thanks